to end, but <laughs> that's not how it's going to go. <laughs> um, so um, someone was uh, referencing the fact that you talk about extraction and they say that you said they'll put a bit, and this was from our pa our previous conversation uh, where they actually gave them the minute mark 32.32 in you say they'll put a beam around your consciousness and transfer you through and you'll be in another universe. So this is something they don't need your permission to do to you. Who exactly is they you speak of? And I think we've kind of already answered that, but I'll just let you go ahead and elaborate. And also I'm going to finish up this question. And how can we distinguish between a benevolent extraction and the malevolent soul stealing process you describe, which also involves some kind of beam that pulls your consciousness out of your body? Mm. I did that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> kind of, but uh, the the harvesting and the the beam or that pulls your soul out of your body that's a kind of different. Uh, we need definitions. Excuse me. Some uh, some uh, definitions basically go into the soul being the bio mind, which is basically a recording of the brain or the the artificial holographic memory. Then you have. The, the you're not the soul the soul is an imprint of your spirit within this this time matrix so it's like a residual uh, structure that takes up your energy and glues you to it the the uh if if there's a soul put it this way the soul harvesting thing does need your consent that's the whole point okay uh, it needs but it needs uh, nobody's gonna sit there and be like yeah destroy me or something like that or, or basically use me so they it's whenever somebody they whenever they get consent it's not actually consent it's manufactured consent where the individual believes that uh they're getting something different and they're signing up for something else that's the whole point if uh you have to sign up for something it no one needs uh consent or anything like that basically how that works is if uh something is happening then interacting in a level that's the same thing as what's happening it's not an issue of consent. It's kind of like saying if somebody's going to die, which is in a way illusory, but still basically that's what it is. That's what determines this. That's how it was explained to me. If it's uh, if they won't exist unless something is done, then that's consent. Meaning if people are going to go to war and blow themselves up on accident, some guy's riding a motorcycle and it's leaking fuel and you know it's literally a spark is about to blow the whole thing apart. If, as long as they've lived in a way where it is uh, conceivable that they would want to uh, preserve themselves and uh, in a, in given another chance, if you will, then no one, no, no firefighter has to go up to him and say, there's a flame leading up from the, you know, stoplight you were just at coming up to your, your bike. And as soon as it reaches your tank, it's going to blow your legs off. Could I please uh, have permission to put out that fire and you know move you to the side of the, the vehicle in case it explodes? That's never been done in history before. No firefighter sees your house on fire and you're literally running around in flames and they, they're tr having this pen and some guy's chasing you like, sign here, sign here. Do, well, that's a public service. Do hospitals do that? Of course, because they want their money. They say, you're dying, sign this. I can't do anything if you don't sign this, um, so, which is crazy. The only way they're allowed to do that is if the person's knocked out. And then they can go in and they have to kind of do it uh, beyond that. They can't communicate with the individual, which is the most fraudulent behavior ever because that's the whole idea. I just displayed it for you. The hospitals are good. They make you sign something so that you know what you're getting. It's the opposite. You signed for The person signed for it. Now when that shit doesn't work and it causes 10 times the problems that they had when they first went in, guess what? You can't complain. You signed for it it's a scam <laughs> if you have to do that, if they have to, you know, go for that. And so it doesn't, now if a person says I'm going to do something because I feel it's right, that's not a, the people that run this are the people that have the capacity to know everything. They know who did what, they know who they did it to. They know the intentions based upon the water molecules that passed through their field and created these biotheric emissions out of their, their aura or whatever you want to call it. And how, in that sense, how they were feeling, and, and they know how many times, when, where, and why it all happened. They know everything. So if anyone's going to get in trouble for something, so on and so forth, eventually there's, there's basically going to be judgment, and the people that manage that are the ones that manage uh, extraction or whatever you want to, waking humanity up. Mm -hmm. And so, and then, and then 
the uh, there's two ways of people going about that. Some people are using these, you know, media and, and debauchery and stuff like that. And they're saying it's going to be as dark as possible. We're going to make it look as stupid as possible until people give up on this stupid show and realize it's all a scam. Or that we're going to, there's another crew that basically hangs back. And at the last moment, if it basically goes as far as it can go within it, at that point, the likelihood increases beyond a, a reasonable doubt that it's basically we're going to have a quantum collapse again. There's uh unless that person designated throughout the entirety of their life that they just want to die and they want everybody to die and they want to kill everybody and kill themselves. There's a, it's, it's like a negative percent that you would go to them and say, this is all we know. This is what we see. This is all this happening. Here's the records of human history. Here's the consciousness records, the judgment of the book of life. Okay. And then here's what's about to happen with the dis dissolution into Armageddon type, you know, end of days, dissolution of consciousness. Now, do you want to dissolve there? Unless it's a 99% likelihood that they're going to go, yeah, throw me into the mouth of the beast. I want to literally lose my etheric form for all of time and be ground up into a dimensional dust that becomes a primary material of the next universe. And I'm erased forever. Unless they can look at the events and in a reasonable you know, situation of their life, say that's what they want in a reasonable situation. The, 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 accepted attitude or, or behavior would be to to help the individual strange thing they can pull the person out of their consciousness or out of their body and say this is what's going to happen and do exactly what i just said and then that person's going to go yeah i don't want to dissolve are you crazy sure and they put them back in their consciousness they have no memory and they have permission from everyone that's how it works and as well the other group does the same thing hey can we poison you and and invite you to this cloning station and this that and the other it's real fun They're like who are you that's not important Look at all these naked people and they go, yeah. And then now there's all these torture scenarios and this is really just for them to this group that merged with the end of time and said, huh, we didn't hold our energy properly. We're going to dissolve once humanity passes this point. There's no anchor point. We become that forgotten interdimensional parasite species. We dissolve. So they just want to get their kicks in as much as possible. And they went through all the time and teleporting people and abducting people and doing crazy stuff. Um, so there's, there's two groups doing that. One manufactures consent gives you the, the contract that you signed before they mess you up with, with medicine. And then one does it another way. And, uh, and it, even then they actually give, they usually get actual consent, but it's just that people won't realize it and remember it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so then look into the gist of it by, uh, yellow rose for Texas, I think. And, um, so basically it was a, a, a oh, and as well, the discovery, the, 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 what we were talking about, the aspect of that, that's the extraction. When you, it's literally like all these systems set up and otherwise, it goes like this and it's like, a, uh, it's like there's a bunch of billiard balls and the lines in between them are, it's like an electrical grid and your consciousness, is, your soul basically just goes and goes wherever your spirit is drawn to, wherever your intentions are. You go into a universe where that's where you're, you're represented. So it's also these, these uh, groups, some infiltrated, some hold strong, uh, train the individual to manage themselves, not by, oh, I'm this, yeah, that's what I want, but not speaking, and not doing the ego thing and the conscious thing and knowing from an organic or an unconscious aspect of, well, I can say that, but look what I've done. Look what my long body has represented throughout all time. These are the same cycles of change that I've done for the past 30 years. I can say this is what I want all the time, that's what the behavior shows. That's what I've actually done. That's what my intentions have held. And so that matches that spirit, that frequency, that highest level. That's what's the person's, it's like the, the compass on the, the, goat, the, the uh, boat, if you will, the guides where it's going to go interdimensionally or through hyperspace at that point. And it brings them into a universe that corresponds with that frequency. So the idea is to boost that to the highest level. You can go to any frequency you, you want to, you know, they use technology so it's spiritual knowledge and then you can guide yourself and without that technology can be used to close off the avenues which basically lead to hell realms where the majority of people here that are in this place going you know if you ask them something about control or powers like well no, we need them they keep us safe they got all the guns and power if you know somebody wants to do something they shoot everybody and that's good, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we have war for that safety. Um, so if you take them or they go through an experience or something like that or die or whatever it is and go into the next realm, 
Well, they're going to match one that matches that frequency. Every majority of people are going to a hell realm and just creates the cycle over and over again. And the people who have figured out immortality and how to jump from one place to the other, well, guess what? They're the same, their spirit in each reality. It's they consciously awakened their spiritual aspect. Meaning when somebody goes into one of the other realities and ends up in this ones that's locked down and controlled in as well, it goes in a progression each time up or down. It's never the same. So if they're low frequency, well, they're going to go into a lockdown world where one war went this way, or maybe we're at war at this point. And let's say they, they leave that one and they're still pointed low oriented. They're going to go into another one and they'll get to that base level reality where it's just physical automation. It's robothoids, it's mutations and, and a, a takeover by another species. It's the lowest possible reality. And so then if they point high and orient, you know, their, their moral compass high, they bounce to higher and higher realities. So they're building a pathway to the highest reality and it's through spiritual knowledge. And if a person hasn't obtained the high level of power that is required to build a, it's like time, that virtual egg thing, it, that's the trajectory tr through time. Instead of waiting a million years to go around the circle, if you build up your energy without giving it out, without using low efficiency methods of breathing, uh, bleeding that energy out through uh, physical or sexual or, or emotively parasitic pathways, then you have a higher potential of that spiritual awakening to occur. And when you're at the highest potential, whatever reality you go to then, it's literally like the, the rays beaming out. You can go 360 degrees, you have full choice over where you go. The, the base level fundamental is one way or the other. You really can't do much. You can, you can bounce. Basically, base level is linear steps, one way or the other steps, down or up. The highest level is leaps and bounds, meaning you, you hit exponential curves of where you want to go. And that never ends. You can go to a universe where everybody's literally just, you can make food out of where you, you know the ether. So the idea is there's a plan because it was viewed, and it's the interdimensionals and the dark factions pretty much figured out, well, A, we can't fully win because it would crack the universe. What happens if we knock out all the possibilities and now there is no base level timeline where everything's perfect, if you will. Well, if there's no that, then the opposite end of that, the ones that we rule over in these hell realms, well, what, what do they become? They dissolve as well. So they need that level to, to contain itself, to still exist. And so, well, okay, so what happened? Well, we won. We, 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 no one has the capacity to do that. There's these people, these consciousnesses coming in that have been, haven't been here in a billion years. They've just been off doing their own thing in the ether. And of course, there's this call going out through the, the frequency spectrum of the universe, like a, you know, a child and, and mother calling for, for help. And uh, these beings are coming in. Because, and it's not you know, instrumental extra aliens, something like that. It's, it's you know, children that are, are, are more resilient to basically being raped and molested, which is what every person goes through in this reality. And if you're in these groups, it physically literally happens. Um, and it's just people who are more resilient to that, not like people with wings or something like that. Um, and, so, uh, and so, you know, why is this happening? It's because well, they look in the timeline, it's like, oh, well, apparently we won. We made a world war. We, we uh, took out all the ability for nutrients and vitamins and free will, freedom of speech, all that stuff. And then uh, the species fizzled out. We had like an automation reality from the, the Nazis versus America versus the Jews and the, the immortal Illuminati and so on and so forth. And that took over this species. That took over this, this reality. There was no, there was a spirit, but it was so dimmed in comparison to what it was or what it could be that there was a severance between this reality and the most high and it became an infinite loop that couldn't get out of that lower dimensional structure and we've been here for like millions of years and so a plan had to be enacted and that's what if you look at a lot of the, the early ancient texts are what the religious texts remodeled and and made up basically to make the modern day religions <clears throat> But that's what's, what's looked at as these liberation concepts as far as, as far as, excuse me, uh, waking people up. And uh, at the very lowest and highest, there it's not, here, get in there, and we're helicoptering you out. It's literally all the exit that would result in absolute total annihilation of the soul before the person extracts from the universe, which extractions means liberation, 
it's just more angled. Those paths get blocked off artificially to the point where it's literally like a team of people focusing on that individual, if you will, sending loving messages and thoughts and encouragement, you can make it. And on the higher plane, spiritual down, okay, that's nourishment, that's food. If you're on a bike or a car, it's somebody booting you in the, the boot of the car and pushing down the road faster. And that's the whole point. It's kind of like you gotta hit 88 miles an hour, which is a, a cultic number and, and terminology, but that's the, that's the point of a tra trajectory to the most high. You have to have a speed that is, is, is it's, a, it's basically we're in a gelatinous void space. This is all uh, conceptual. It's not, you're not physically going into a dimension or, or uh, out of physical space or something. It's, it's, it's energy and awareness. It's as if, though, metaphorically, you have to build up enough energy, be, uh, push yourself out of through the void of space until you hit a barrier, and the barrier is a virtual barrier, meaning it is the maximal con concept of space and, and distance in space and the maximal concept of time and distance in time, meaning to surpass it, it requires an eternity and an infinite uh, amount of energy. So the idea is that all it means is that by the time you get through that barrier, your physical body has to be pure energy. You have to become one with your mind fully. And that, what that means is that you can't have your ego in the way because the ego creates a separate point of, well, I'm my body or no, I'm the mind. And there's that hinge there, that fulcrum, which causes that spinning of intentions, desires, results, reactions, of you know responsibility, uh, blame shifting or projection, and it creates that ignorance, conscious, unconscious display. So the conscious and the unconscious have to be merged, the shadow self accepted, that's what all is being led up through history. People have to have the energy uh, capable of, of, of uh, maintaining a form. Basically, it's like that, you, you shoot off and you have to get through an infinite space. The point is, you can only use the energy that you have at the point of launch. There's, there's no food out there, there's no food in the, tri the journey, same thing as the inner earth journey, you can't eat on the pathway through inner earth because it throws your organs off and persons turn inside out. It's really weird. It's kind of disgusting how it works. They don't really turn inside out, but their organism breaks down and they become, it's like the, what the Nazis did, Nazis with the, in um, Indiana Jones, because they had poor intentions traveling through the uh, Holy Grail, which is a metaphor of the cup. It's a pathway that they instantly aged a billion years in a second because their spirit, which is eternally old, merged with the body but not the perfect the form with the ego the concept and the two don't mix it's like putting new uh wine is it new wine and i think it's old wine and new skins yeah doesn't mix that's the opposite nobody would do that it would break the bag and just wouldn't work you can put new wine in uh, i think new skins is it that or no i one or the other uh, basically, one way, because the wine expands, it'll crack the bag that's not uh, broken in. It's not stressed. and It's like a, usually an animal stomach. Uh, and uh, so it's, uh, it's weird, but that, that interplay is how it works. And so if we go on this journey uh, through infinite time and infinite space where you need your trajectory is mapped out from the point of launch, meaning the calculation of, of, of the coordinates, the point of launch must be high enough to the point where the resulting you know, arc curve of your trajectory will be outside of this universe entirely. And it's not physical. You don't literally pump yourself real fast like Sonic the Hedgehog and shoot off into space. It's metaphoric. It's mm -hmm. it's a spin rotation that happens for consciousness. Dan Winter talks about this when it's an equilibrium that expands uh, forward and backwards, in and out simultaneously, this expansive contraction breathing of time space when it is uh, properly motivated through pure intentions, bliss, these are what are called fire letters, and they're ancient aspects of the self that are uh, like formed out of, uh, based upon the high spiritual aspect, meaning it's eternal. The, the shadow letters are based upon the mundane, the physicality that is shaped by the, the spirit. It's not what shapes the spirit. You say, well, my body creates my consciousness. That's backwards, it's upside down that the light creates the shadow, not the shadow creates the light. It would literally be like saying a shadow over there and being like, this light bulb is now there because the shadow's there. It's backwards. It doesn't work that way. Right. Our body is, it's what does it, but it's not. So it's, it's created by the spirit. And so when you're in the spirit that's doing it and it's inverted from the, uh, the, what we see is the, the, we think the body's in control and the ego and all that, then you activate this or this like spiral frequency of organic 
energy transfer through this fractal convergence field that opens up and creates a perfect geometry from the, a wide level density here and a zero point at a, 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 an orientation, a proportion, an iteration, higher and lower with the number of iterations uh, at a finite level and then at a frequency or a, a uh, finite uh, measurement, if you will, that basically slips in between atoms. It's at a when it's lined up this way, the right way, and it's lined up in each iteration, small the right way. You get a perfect curve that is the same pattern of the entire universe. And so when your energy matches that, you go an infinite distance and an infinite time into that curve, and it opens up basically a pattern of portal out of here. The point is that's your basically your heart system. When your heart and your mind are one. That's the converging of the higher and the lower, the unconscious, the, the conscious, what you are afraid of and you don't want, but your conscious mind knows there's something missing or something like that, when they're basically all that's revealed through the heart, through that, in the mind. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so the idea with the, what I was told and shown, I was like, oh, yeah, you don't believe, right? I go over there, we're going to have a little practice run. And uh, they can, so the energy is from bliss. It's from a fractal geometric proportion proportionality where the spin which is the natural occurrence of a person through the sine wave of time you're always doing something you're always changing so imagine you take that okay now twist them now it's a spiral okay now put it this way smush it okay now now it's a, a coil if you will now you got a certain coil a tesla coil a certain way you get a perfect equilibrium you make scalar energy you get the person perfect frequency the hertz cycles of correct amperage amounts of power going through and the perfect geometric alignment and you get a scalar field that connects with the mind and you create a mind mind computer system that goes into and out of dimensions okay so when your energy is doing that then you get a ufo that travels in and out of universes um so the point is that you need uh, three phases that there is a, uh, a, a high uh, is harmonization, meaning the, the, uh, the spin or the, 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 the change, the undulation is basically a deviation of first binary of higher and lower ego, um, higher mind, spirit, body. And when you transcend the deviance and you realize that there's basically the variation that uh, it's neither one or the other because to define it as one or the other means that it is a complete thing, it is a solid thing, it's perfectly outlined, and that's you, and that's the universe, and it has a beginning and an end, and that's it. Nothing has a beginning and end, it all simply is. The definitions always are added to it. As soon as you define it, it's like, there's the outline. Well, you just drew an outline. What's outside of what you drew? Nothing. Well, and how is there an outline there? What is the outline in? So as soon as you do that, it gets more and expands. The ego wants to go, no, 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 no. It's just what it is. It's there. That's it. The spirit knows it's continuously going, it's forever. So the equilibrium, when you balance the two, it's neither one or the other, and you open up a transcendent pattern of both simultaneously, and that's the, the third factor, if you will, it's the, the, the trinity, the original trinity, and that's the, the pathway to zero point, and to do that, all you have to do is go, it's okay, monkey mind, there's love, you're loved, I love you, and, and accept that, that's the secret. That's the big secret of the, the rosy heart, okay, of the, 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 the clear pathway to the, the space within to equal, uh, to cleave this reality and go into a place of, of heaven or something. It's within you. That's the pathway. It's the, the fractal pattern that Dan Winter talks about. It's kind of crazy when I first saw him because that was what I was, that was what I was learning um, from, from, you know, first experience. And it's probably the same way with his uh, intellectual, mathematical, you know, knowledge and then being a, a, a awakened spirit of going, that's why that works. That's why that does that because of this, this, and that, and being able to explain it that way. And I explain it the same way, just not nowhere near the kind of words that he uses and the, the mathematical uh, descriptions. It's obviously, it's curvy lines that go this yeah. way, and you just shake it a lot, and then poof, and it goes that way. And if it's balanced, when the shake happens or the spin goes up like a mixer, it, uh, it makes a perfect congruence pattern that goes in and out, and it's like this – 369 Tesla ovulation or ovulation oscillation is like an ovulation because it's the egg. This is what the, the, the Orientals will say the egg with the person pregnating impregnating themselves with the egg of consciousness, the egg of super consciousness. Because when that happens, you form an egg, and in that vortex, that center point, all of time and space is accessed. But, um, and then if the, the point is when that's not balanced, that sine wave, like the vocals, uh, Dr. Emoto talking about the, uh, the crystals that are imbalanced with these negative emotions, because when negative emotion or the lower mundane is the primary factor, that pyramid's upside down. 
but it's not if you do that but you're not in spirit when you do that it's the body doing that that means you have one pyramid this way and the other pyramid that way and they're merged it's like a transsexual of energy mm-hmm. and you have the uh, the the pinnacle the high up high it's your ass and your genitals and the people that do that in the projects or the dark whatever it is they're they can't activate their soul or their heart unless there's a sexual experience and the more that goes on the mind degrades and that becomes a degrading sexual experience mm-hmm. that's their pathway which is is weird okay as well the goal is to offer everybody the pathway that when we heal the dark in this universe as a species well guess what you heal the the other end the the light aspect who's feeling that. And the idea is that if you're the light aspect you're only healing. You're not blaming, and it's like I'm the light aspect, so screw the dark. No, it's not a wrestling match. It doesn't exist. That's actually the dark. Yeah. But that's why it's all this this interplay of there's masks. The ego has masks. It's like the, uh, the Orientals also say that uh, you have three masks, and I added another one in the other interview I did. That you have the one that you show like people formally, the one that you show just your friends, and the one you show only yourself. You actually have another one that you don't even show yourself, and that's your unconscious. That's your spirit that you have to take off the form of the body to see, but you don't have to because you can do it mentally. Mm. And so uh, it's that, that pattern, that's the most difficult part is harmonizing where it's the most confusing, where it's when you're in this flow, this ebb and flow of your choice, your decisions, the changes that you have ask, uh, access to of how you modify reality based upon your intentions and your free will, that if it's high spirit, it's, it's free will, it's high free will. It's free will is actually spirit, that's all that means, that you're in control, you're doing it because that's what's happening mundane uh, desires, uh, you as a spiritual being guided by the body instead, the animals guiding the cart and the guys being dragged behind the cart by the reins, that's backwards. Or putting the cart before the horse, same concept just in older terminology, Mm -hmm. it's less cartoonish. (laughs) Um, And honestly, I mean, it's it's sensible that way too because it's even more cartoonish because it's like, well, how does that where you have to teach them to walk backwards and then it's like basically the same thing. Um, and it's also, it also means that you had to do that because that person put the horse in uh, the cart in front of the horse, whereas if the horse gets out of control and guy's being dragged by the reins, well, that happens kind of all the time. But if a person put literally the cart in front of the horse, there's a serious problem with their mentality and because they're not comprehending how yes. the situation works. And when the people flip their energy system upside down, which is what these depravity, these tortures, all that does, it's a choice. People have to try to do that and accept it. One time doesn't do it. It one time dis- distorts their soul, their 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 garment of the the fle- the the light and the flesh mixed to make this higher flesh shirt thing that people wear as a soul puts a tear in it. To continue to do that, and it's really puts a, it really puts it stains it. To continue to do that, it tears it. And when they're fragmented entirely, that's the situation we have in the the broken timelines where everybody's just like us, just zombies. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so harmonization, when what you're in control of is either through the highest aspect of free will, which again, it's a paradox because it's when you're trying, this is like the weirdest thing. Your ego, your conscious mind tries. So when you're trying to do something, you're not doing it. That's the whole point. So when you're trying to be in free will because that's what you know you need because you're basically saying you're not in free will, so you have to put all this energy towards it, it's not working. When you say, I'm going to be in free will or I'm going to interact in that because I'm already doing it and you just let it be, okay, it's literally just like, I want to be in free will, okay, well, that's it. Just doing that is the aspect of doing that. It's not doing one thing or the other. That's, it can't be defined. It has no definition. It's well, literally it, an essence. It's like trying to, it's like going around, it's like going around screaming, I'm a sovereign being, I'm a sovereign being, I'm a sovereign being, when and, and trying to prove that in the reality when you already are that sovereign being, what are you fighting? What are you, it, it's almost like you, that, to me, that's almost fear-based in the fact that you're trying to say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I know, I, you know, you're trying to get to that point. Like you're questioning, am I really a sovereign being? And when you know you're sovereign, you know you have free will and you know you can just be because everything is created by you, for you, for a purpose. <laughs> Exactly. It's an instantaneous, simultaneous, and it's a differential between image, creating the image, the outward appearance, even to your own self, or the knowing, the aspect of knowing. And in that sense, though, you can go around and yell at all you want. You might be right. But at that point, you're not doing it to prove anything. You're just messing with people and having fun. And somebody might giggle and like get it, like see the glimmer in your eye, like, ah, that's funny, right? 
because yeah. maybe then you're making fun of the people that are doing that in a, a, a you know a, a wholehearted way. But then if it's serious and it's like you got like this dagger and it's like I am sovereign. This is why I have to try so hard and I'm in this hostile state. It's a delusion. Basically, what we do with the ego mind is only monkey mind. It's only a delusion. If you do something, you don't actually have to do it. You just be it. If you do something that is related to who you are, you don't then go out and do it. That's what we do on the stage. We, that's what we do when we play our role, our character of who we think we are, or at least who we want to present to others. Mm -hmm. so the aspect of harmony as far as harmonizing ourselves is literally simply free will. And free will is when you do what you're doing because that's who you are and that's who's doing it. And when uh, we're in automation, it can present itself under the guise of doing what I'm doing because that's who I think I am. Mm -hmm. and that, basically that process of thinking in the brain and all that stuff it's an illusion it's a show it's an automation it's a robot it's a it's a monkey robot thing somebody designed and pure spirit doesn't need that it doesn't mean you don't have a mind when you do that stuff or, or brain at that point because the mind and the brain are different um it just means that you see it it's a show it's a it's a robot it's a game we're playing and you know it's it's not the outward appearance the intentions the image the the physical interaction it's the intent the knowledge the the knowing and the 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 spiritual sense that's what you are that's what determines it meaning when you're truly in free will when you're truly in spirit oftentimes it's marked because you're, the whole world is doing this and you're in the center and calm center completely still that's the and so you get this opposite effect this inversion that to build your energy to harm or first you're harmonizing to do that i talked about this with um the circle, uh, something with the circle in it, and I was trying to describe how that same pattern of the pyramid, okay, and you combine them, you, first it's like this up and down, and you see which frequency is which, and then they become this pyramid of frequencies, and then you take those and combine them, you get this pie chart, and you get this spiral out of that, and you stretch the spiral out, you get a spiral in motion, a, 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 like a DNA strand, and then you coil that up in different ways, and you get this extra dimensional continual ascent from higher and lower to extra dimensions, because you have to see what you can see, you have to be one step above that. And so as you see more and more, you're boosting yourself bigger and bigger until you get the maximum dimensional body and you become all of time and space. But it's, uh, it's a misnomer because it's not time and space. Time and space is a physical hologram. It's the brain. You become all that is, which is beyond time and space. That's the whole point. And time and space becomes one little speck at that point and there's this like infinite uh, <clears throat> span. But the idea is that if you're spinning, it's like a plate made of an equilateral triangle or spaghetti on the plate